and welcome back again to another video you were not expecting were you expecting it i'm sure you were not so as you share again i am here to bust your bubble that <laughs> yeah i am here to bust your bubble so i know no i don't know you know okay very diverting thing you people know that <laughs> i said usa canada um which other country is there again which other country she didn't use it. Mm -hmm. Those English countries. In fact, before I said no, never when I heard about Australia, I used to feel like Australia and they actually have their own language. Actually, Australia is one of those English speaking countries. Real life English speaking countries. And they don't joke with their language exam more. They did not joke with it. And they, I don't even know what I'm saying. <laughs> Hey fam, welcome back again to another video you are not expecting. So fam, today's video will be different as usual and as always. So this is um admission period, admission season. I really hope I upload the same time. I am making it. I really hope, I really wish because sometimes I just make videos. I am not motivated to edit. But since I've been seeing like the way people ginger me on this channel, the way you tell me thank you and everything, she has been gingering me to, you know. No, it's not easy it's not easy anyways we come back again to another video you're not expecting so as most of you know or if you don't know <laughs> most um australia is actually a english-speaking country in fact when i found out about this country it came like as a as a shock to me because i just feel like australia and germany they are like party like they speak dialect ashe is actually an english-speaking country why jamelen and then with further research, you need to see that Australia is one of those universities that you have to enter your tests. But you put now as usual, even UK, headquarters of Nigeria, they say you should write your tests. But then we shall look for a way to just do what we call and shout that. I see before this English that we are speaking is not English. Is it not English? What we be asking us for IOT? And you know, funny enough, if you see those countries that they give exceptions. That they should not write English. It's not as if they can speak better English than us. Is it? Is, is it because we can't talk with our nose? Just to talk with your nose. Ah, not all. Ah, just to make all the teas. All the all the tees, all the teas to make it silent. Because of that, I should come and write the exam. We say we, we 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 can form our sense. Anyways, that's why I bring to you another hack, yo. Mm -hmm. In fact, okay. That's why I brought to you another hack. It's not everybody that can write high tests. In fact, the way people used to run away from that high tests is as if that high tests. I don't know why people scared. Why can't you write that? What is there? Nothing is there. Just to write is a way of improving yourself, you know. I don't know why people are running away. But anyways, nigga, I am running away. And that's what made me to come and make this video. So if you know, if you actually want to move to um Australia. The minimum they actually require for IELTS is 5.5, but there is not really a high school. You can get 5.5, you can speak English. But even as their minimum is 5.5, we have some schools that they like to show them safe, like me. They have showed that part because me, if, if to say I have a school, well, my IELTS will start from 10.0 upwards. If there's anything like that, 10.0. If you cannot have 10.0, don't come to my school. <laughs> We have some schools like that that as the minimum is even 5.5 they still raise their shoulders and say no if you don't have more than that too. <laughs> and aside that we actually have some courses there are some courses that they actually require to have um higher band score there are some that anything goes so depending on the course depending on the this thing depending on this depending on that so many of them. but then i said i've said but then since i brought to you another good news you so i have eight universities in australia that does not require IOTS, but wait, yo, that does not require IOTS. It is to have condition, they require or not. It is to have mm -hmm. so take your time to sit down and listen. Because, me, as I used to say, disclaimer my own, I'm just sharing my idea through my research and everything. So, if you decide to skip video and you just look for the name, I just gonna apply once they bounce you back. I'm sure you bounce back to this video and go and watch it very well because. All those eight, all of them do not have the same requirement. So we have to be analyzing this one after the other. When I mention one, I'll tell you what to do. How to skip it and how to do. <laughs> so you now pick the one that the condition is what is okay for you. It's not like just to tell you the name. And then you did bag, 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 bag. They say that you are not collecting to bounce you back. Anyways, if you watch it up to here, 
I did not subscribe. I did not know what to stand to gain. I did not know. Can you tell me, please? Can you tell me, please? What do you stand to gain? I don't know. Better subscribe now. If not, your school we ask you for IELTS 7.0. Anyways, let's dive right in. So, guys, today we're talking about eight Australian universities that does not require for high LTS exam. So, the first on our list is. Now, I'm not doing first on our list, maybe according to the first one or anything. This one is according to how I made the research. So, even if I say first on my list, last on my list, it does not mean that it's anything special. So, all these universities, they have different criteria. Mm -hmm. English, they have different criteria. No, that one is singular. Criteria is plural. A, A is ending in plural. You see, you people now, I'm teaching you English. In the higher test, you can write what I'm teaching you. So, all these universities, right, they have their own unique special criteria so that's why i say i'm gonna be explaining all the pieces and the procedures for you people so you're just gonna choose the one that's you know so the first one on my list is university of southern queensland this queen eh, is at the southern birds of australia so in this university if you want to skip lts if you don't want to write lts this is what you will do so for university of southern queensland when they request for English exam, usually they don't really request for it. But then, depending, that's I said, depending on the course you're going for, but whether or not they request it for you, this is what you will do. In your cover letter or your CV, say to them that auntie or uncle, whoever is reading your admission, if you like, go write auntie or uncle inside cover letter, is it that no? Who could write it? It's a way of proving that you understand English. Tell them that you had your education words in English. Not only that though, for example, if you are going for undergraduate, if you have white results and in your English, you have at least C5 to C6. So people used to accept C6. So even in UK, some people will be like C5 is their minimum. So if you have C5 and above, you have a very great chance. <laughs> but if you have C6, no, <laughs> you can still try it. But I'm just telling you, in case the thing comes back, sorry, you are unfortunate at this time. You know how they used to type that they are English. <laughs> So just prepare your mind. If you have like C6, they can tell you unfortunate. But if you have C5 upwards, mm -hmm. do you understand? But then whether you have C5 or you have C6, what is going to determine is how you are going to type the letter. Even if you have hair one in high health years, mm, and you are typing letter like somebody that did not pass through school, it's obvious that you don't know how to speak English. So if you know you, don't, you are not going to recover letter or CV or this thing, look for somebody to help you to draft it. Let them speak a professional, in, not a, a professional, straightforward English. So when they are reading, they'll be like, okay, you know what they talk. So for Queensland, for Southern, uni, it be the name safe. For University of Southern Queensland, the way on, the way you can actually skip um, English exam is when you actually write in your cover letter that your education was taught in english whether you're white whether you're undergraduate excuse me whether you're bsc it was actually taught in english language and you tell them the degree that you have it in and everything and then in your cv you see that place that they used to write skills in cv you had skills of english language to it any english language skills you know whether speaking whether listening whether this you write your english language skills to it in the cv so your english language skills when you reflect in your cover letter in your cv and after everything i'm sure you submit your um academic qualifications with it your work results your bsc mm -hmm. so if you know you've had bsc you've done your bsc that you're actually going for masters yeah you, you know when you collect your transcript there's always this letter that used to come with it they call it letter of medium of instruction or anything <laughs> so you actually attach everything to it or if you don't have you can ask your i don't know if it's lecture or approval that you should actually you should ask them to write letter that your degree was actually taught in english 100 percent english then there's another um a limitation where right? there are some schools if your if your result is more than maybe four years they can make it to write IELTS. Yes. Right? I mean, I'm just telling you in advance, so just in case you do all this and they come and tell you, you are so unfortunate at this time, we will see you in our future. You know, they used to speak their English, you know. <laughs> so, some schools they'll feel like if your um, if your educational qualification is more than two years, sorry, more than four years, you requested to write the IELTS. 
<laughs> whether BSc, whether undergraduate, or this, if it's older than four years, because they will feel like you don't know how to speak English again. So, what you're gonna do in that scenario is okay, in your CV, your employment normally in your CV, your employment issue is supposed to show. So, that means in your cover letter, you buttress your point that yes, yeah, so you had your degree four years ago and you were taught in English, but not but is buttress, you're buttressing the point, and you currently work. Those four years, what were you doing after school? You actually work in a place, you could be working in a bank, you could be working in a restaurant, you'd be working in. So you now purchase it that I am currently working in a restaurant oh, as a salesperson. And we speak 100 percent English, attending to customers, attending DC. We speak English. And even in that view, you collect reference letter from your boss. Your boss can even give you a medium of instruction of employment to prove that you people have been speaking English. In that organization so before they turn you like this turn them back before they turn you like this turn them back so just pack up like i used to tell people documents know they too much you know they reach in it so anyway you feel like you can actually prove your point don't wait for them to ask you anything in fact they will never ask you safe they'll just take the guy right so just pack all the supporting documents that you can and then explain all the documents you know that your cover letter is what you actually make an employer to employer or school to actually open your file open your document so try as much as you can to explain all the paper all the document that is there inside the cover letter mm -hmm. so that once they are opening those okay the first one is cv the next one is medium of instruction shall arrange it and do it like when they see it's going to be okay we oh, are yeah, done right it so the next one at least is adelaide university man when i saw this thing i was like ah is it a you by university when you are there? Lady, I be a day, lady, I be a day, lady, a day, a day, a day, a day, a day, a day, university. So, fam, this a day, lady, I be a day, the university is quite different from that southern queen that I explained. And that's why I said, all these universities, in as much as they do not take LTS, everybody has their own condition. This a day, a day, if you know you skip that. When I was explaining the Queen Southern University, make sure you skip it back and watch everything. After you've tried that method that I've told you, that's the method for Queen, so but try it for Ade Lade. But naturally, Ade Lade University, right? They have their own foundation course exam. And this foundation exam is to range for maybe three, six months to even one year. Imagine. Imagine coming from an English country and then one country is teaching you how to speak English just because you want to enter school. Is it that you do not have here to hear? Or you, oh my god, why are these people like this? Why are they like this? Eh? Anyways, Adelaide, Adelaide hmm, University, they actually offer a foundation. Eh, hey, move any foundation. Come on, soon. They actually offer a foundation. Okay, that, no wonder they are doing English exam. They actually offer a foundation. English course it can range from three months to six months to one year to eight months depending on the English deficiency of that person. You know, in English, we are speaking, listening, writing. Which other one? Speaking, speaking, like speaking, listening, writing. What's the fourth one? Add it yourself in the comment section. Thank you. Uh -huh. So, depending on your this thing, if they realize that speaking is your problem, more uh -huh, and they can have maybe speaking and this thing, they will have different different. Uh -huh. So, that one you actually apply for a foundation course. So, foundation English course. So, after your foundation English course, that is when you now start your program in full. Mind you, if you don't pass this foundation course, you are not eligible to apply, or you keep repeating that class that prepare three English course before they allow you to apply to your normal degree and and somebody will be watching this now and they'll be like oh since there's a six months um course in australia let me just use that one at japa make i just use that one my dear any course that is less than eight months you can't get a working visa for it they either give you a tourist visa or this short-term course visa and you can't work so that's what i'm telling you now even if your school is telling you that you will do preparatory course. So tell them to have that your preparatory course with your normal degree. If you are going there for BSc, three or four years. So let's say one year preparatory course with your degree of four years or five years, at BNE years, add it. So let's say you're going for a 
a degree of three years and you did one year preparatory course so add it making how many four years so let it reflect inside your admission letter that you are spending four years in australia if you are going for masters or phd that maybe is one year and then you want to do preparatory course of one year one plus one is what two years let it reflect in your admission letter that your master's program is two years one year preparatory one year the real degree just make sure that that two years reflect because some university they will feel like you are coming for preparatory course they will not give you six months they will not put six months inside your admission letter you admit you have been admitted to preparatory course tell them you are not doing no because in that six months you are not you are not able to work you are not able to do anything do you guys understand me now so make sure which other people you cause your ID make sure they had everything together to your admission letter so people they will say okay yeah I apply to a four-year degree plus one year preparatory course let everything shackle to five years so that when they give you your study permit you'll be able to work if not if you're happy that oh they gave you preparatory course and this thing you just find yourself that when you get there you are not liable for work permits so for like three six or even one year you are not any money you are just <laughs> so imagine the course that you want to go and do it does not stop you from working is english language a they guess english language that never make it to get work permit so make sure you are careful <laughs> so whatever this thing tell them you'll be able to work doing preparatory course preparatory course not mean that somebody should not should not work if you can work during the normal degree can you prepare the course so that is that for Adelaide University I told you to try the southern Queen Southern distant part <laughs> but if you do not work just prepare your mind for the English foundation course and even at that I have told you what to tell them so that <laughs> because I know most of you are going to Australia because you can actually work not like you should not get there now you should not realize that oh that type of visa that you brought you you cannot work so make sure you clear all your foundation before going have you watched it up to here have you subscribed what are you waiting for hmm? am i the one setting the exam for you what are you waiting for anyways let's continue so this the next on my list is <clears throat> mac Quare. mac Quare. Makwawe University, please. If you are from Australia, no vessel. Makwawe University. So, this university is packed um, this thing together. Um, the Queen's Island and the other lady, this thing, they packed the both of it together. So, this will offer preparatory, and it, they don't accept, they can skip for IELTS, and they actually have preparatory class. And that's why I told you go scroll back, watch the Queen southern university what i said you try that one if it doesn't work then prepare your mind for the preparatory course and that preparatory course i explained it very well for the adelaide university scroll back and go and watch it i've told you what to do what not to do to make sure that it reflects in your visa to which you overlaw it reflects you're not gonna work and want and study so next on my list is university of university of queensland so this one she just she queen she just packed everybody's this thing together guys in this university they need something as high as 6.5 high hotels 6.5 6.5 as high hotels but then they have different options for you like i've explained for excuse me for queen what's be queen southern this all of them they are just bearing queen that first one i talked about so this school they actually accept your work your bsc your masters and again the work experience i explained that in case your certificate is actually more than four years they might try to feel like in that four years what have you been doing that maybe your english proficiency would have run away so you actually tell them that i'm still it's not run away it is still here so make sure you scroll back to go and watch the video so everything is still in there into the pandemic So the next one on my list is <clears throat> this university's name is Swinburne University of Technology. This is for people going for tech, anything, B Tech, F Tech, Universe Swinburne University of Technology. 
so um, this sweet boy university is similar to the ones i've been talking about as well um they actually accept um, your wife and everything but just in case they actually have and and that thing is <laughs> the IELTS they require is as high as 6.5 so imagine this could actually require a high IELT is like 6.5. So if you have like C5 in your work or C6 or C5, it can be feel like it's not enough. But that's why I said some US is there. <laughs> so this one they actually require IELTS as high as 6.5. But then they actually have their own foundation course, like I've explained earlier. So the foundation course is depending on your individual need and everything and their foundation course is actually grouped into two the general and the academic so depending on your deficiency depending on the course you're going for for example if you're actually going for med something like medicine now definitely you're going to academic <laughs> if you are going for but there's no there's no medicine technology too but you understand what i'm trying to say i'm just trying to explain that depending on you the bong 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 <laughs> The bongo of the course you are going for, mm -hmm. the more the bongo of your course, the more the bongo of the requirement that they will ask you. But if your course is just normal course, they will not stress it too much. Mm -hmm. So they have two types of foundation, and the foundation to actually ask like six months, three months, six months to one year. So depending on your ability, proficiency, where you are lacking in, and every other thing like that. <laughs> That's when they will used to enroll you and like i said go and watch scroll back and watch my ade elade university what i explained they also have their own foundation course so any school that has their own foundation course be careful guys even when you enroll in that foundation course be careful because if they go and give you just admission letter for um foundation course or preparatory course you cannot work you so make sure any admission letter that they give you it reflects with your degree well after the foundation you are continuing so you will be able to actually apply for what your work permit so the next on my list is university of melbourne melbourne university of melbourne normally you don't believe really, you don't actually require iotls for this school normal normal naturally you don't require iotls they, they have to part they have their own english exam more like a foundation but it's not foundation like all these one year people or six months people that one is just for like two months just two months okay? So it's like it's just like a compulsory criteria for everybody but then she try the method i told you about but then it's not bad at least that eight years you could just use and the flex they enjoy your life so it's more like a compulsory criteria for everybody to enroll in that eight weeks english um proficiency eight weeks i be eight weeks or ten with like two months uh, and they will teach you english and everything so after that that's when you now enroll proper into your choice of course or course choice and then the next method you can use is they actually have more, more like a liars with trinity college so you can actually do foundation with trinity college they use the results to come and apply with um melbourne university you know most schools right when you do foundation in another school they feel like it's not acceptable to their standard you know these schools they have pride they have pride they say it's not acceptable to their standard that it has to be from them and everything <laughs> but then they said if you do foundation course it may be like trinity college now mm -hmm. they accept the result but then trinity college um, is actually of a foundation english foundation which is actually for one year it's almost foundation courses are almost mostly one year so what you can do one year when you can just do two months for inside your school at least you know that is the same school you are doing your course with when you are done you just cross to the net to your course but this is just to tell you just in case you have a foundation degree from trinity college or anything you can now tender your so you don't end up passing like this so that's for me to tell you that it's acceptable but then regardless you can still tell them that we taught in english and everything but i feel like it's like a compulsory criteria if you like be taught in english if you like the owner of high hotel should come and teach you that is what i think i'm not saying affirmatically i think that's what i read on their website i think that is what is required so you just do your own normal negotiation but if they do not agree just do the two months just use on the flesh in that two months you'll be doing good doing english this and you still be doing your normal because just use that on the flex you know so fam, the next on my list is University of South Australia. So this one, they actually used to add, um, add, add, allow IELTS, but like I've been explaining, they can actually allow you to actually skip it if you have your wife and everything 
scroll 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 to the first one i explained i've explained it i cannot be repeating the same thing you know uh -huh. so they actually allow you to please let me do my permit me to maintain some freshness thank you okay so as i was saying they actually allow you to use your white your altiers your anything of your choice but then they actually have um They actually have their own foundation course as well so at the point of um application like i've explained in that southern queenland university scroll 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 to the back ahead so that's why i told you depending on your deficiency depending on your distance <laughs> and everything they will not determine usually foundation course is always one year but then depending on your deficiency whether you cannot speak whether you cannot listen they will determine which condition is actually right for you then the last but not the least is University of New South Wales. University of New South Wales. So this one too, I, I don't know if they really have um IELTS, but like I've explained, try your BSc, your masters, your work experience. I mentioned four ways. Or waiver make sure you scroll to go and watch the video and everything so that will bring us to the end of today's video so before they watch it determine if they will give you two years foundation sorry few and the amount of foundation year they will actually give you right so they can actually do all these pretests um this okay another way is some of these universities right they can actually do pretest english for you similar to ielts they'll just send you a link when you click it you listen to videos of people talking then they will tell you to type what they said or answer comprehension they can tell you um they can type some words you can read some comprehensions then they will tell you to ask answer some questions they can audio sound audio just not like normal higher tiers but then this one will be like school conductor so that one will be like a way of them determining if he's speaking as your problem or he's listening or he's writing or anything like this thing but then like i told you make sure to try all the ways and try to settle for the one that is minimum as much as you can but then you see that one of two months in here <laughs> and then in everything in everything public barrier make sure even if you are to enroll even if they say by fire by force you you have to do um, foundation course make sure your foundation course reflect in your admission letter so that when you actually study you'll be able to do your normal 20 hours per week work make sure don't just collect admission letter for preparatory course so if you collect that that means after that course you are coming back to nigeria or to your home country so make sure everything reflects in it so from that will bring us to the end of today's video thank you 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 thank you, thank you so much for watching thank you for sticking with me thank you for thank you for thank you for thank you for hmm. so guys thanks for watching and i'll see you in my next video Thanks for watching. Bye. Thanks for watching. I swear my head is peppering me. How do you far? Eh? To be a fine girl is not an easy thing. Yeah. It's not even where we can because it should be worse. Vitamin C serum. So guys, thanks for watching. Bye bye.